This is Rico speaking. Rico. R I C O. Rico. Little Caesar, that's who. Yeah, you're a big guy now, ain't you? Shooting your mouth off in the papers. So I ran out when it got hot, huh? You think I can't take it no more? Well, listen, you crummy flat footed copper. I'll show you whether I lost my nerve and my brains. Here, and not too long ago, I got some requests to review gangster movies, and I wanted to get some in before December rolled around, so I decided to start with the film that really got the gangster cycle uh, started. It is Little Caesar from 1931 about the rise and fall of Rico Caesar Bandello. Um, it made a star out of Edward G. Robinson as a small time crook who wants to make it into the big time. He starts out working for a gang and then works his way up the ladder, taking over territories, which leads to his downfall. Underworld pays respects to Diamond Pete Montana. He don't have to waste his time on cheap gas stations. He's somebody. He's in the big town doing things in a big way. Yeah, look at us. Just a couple of nobodies. Nothing. Well, I could do all the things that fella does and more. Only I never got my chance. Why what's there to be afraid of? And when I get in a tight spot, I shoot my way out of it. Why, sure. Shoot first and I get afterwards. Now, Robinson definitely seemed more adept to talking films that um, had just taken over Hollywood. While uh, most of the rest of the cast are basically stage actors adjusting to the new medium where you just memorized your lines and you said them. But Robinson, on the other hand, sounds like a gangster uh, with the help of the dialogue. And whenever he was on screen, he held my attention and was um, more interesting to watch and listen to because he was he seemed more fluid on the screen and I think he developed the character better than the rest of the cast did. Everyone else seemed stiff. Um, uh, for example, Robinson and his character doesn't drink alcohol because he doesn't want to get addicted to this stuff because it's prohibition. And it kind of reminded me of Henry Hill in um, Goodfellas where he is in Paulie's uh, gang and the rule of his gang is no drugs. Uh, but um, you, um, too, bad, uh, <laughs> too bad Henry didn't take that advice because you see the results in that film. Uh, some of the dialogue might be corny for some viewers like there's a romance between Robinson's friend played by Douglas Fairbanks Jr. and his dance partner girlfriend and the gang dialogue is not as bad. Um, for an early talkie uh, where dialogue was um, pretty much used quite a lot, of, maybe a little bit too much, Little Caesar has some good visuals to accompany the film, especially when um, the camera is on some of these characters and we can kind of get an idea of what they must be thinking. I got the biggest chance of my life. The big boy just handed me the whole north side. But it's too much for one man to handle alone. I need somebody, somebody to work in with me, a guy like you, somebody I can trust. Can't be me, Rico. I've quit. You didn't quit. Nobody ever quit me. You're still in my gang, do you get that? I don't care how many fancy skirts you got hanging onto you. That Jane of yours can go hang. It's her that's made a softy out of you. You lay off, Olga Rico. No, I lay off her, I'm after her. One of us has got to lose and ain't gonna be me. There's ways of stopping that, eh? Little Caesar, I think, is an entertaining picture with a story just as effective as films like Goodfellas and Scarface and The Public Enemy with James Cagney. I definitely recommend this movie for anyone interested in the gangster genre. It was not the first gangster film. There were some that date back to the silent era. but And the, actually, the first all-sound film um, was a gangster picture called The Lights of New York from 1928. But this film, I think, really got it going, and it's definitely one of the most memorable ones. So thank you very much for watching. That's my review of Little Caesar, and feel free to leave any comments about the video or about this movie. Thank you very much for watching.